Right, I can't mess this up. Okay, I think we're live, but I'm not sure. Last time I messed up, I had to restart three times, so we might not be. Hey, David, can you hear us? If David can hear us, we're good to go. You have to say hi so they know you're here. Hello, David. I hope you can hear us. Hey, MJ, welcome. MJ, can you hear us? Can anybody hear us? If they can see us, maybe they can hear us. There's a little bit of a delay, just in case you start cursing and I have to hit the button. Nobody's saying they can hear us. No. Nope. Five by five. I think that means yes. How does five by five mean yes? I forget. It's like an army thing or a police thing or maybe a construction thing. It's one of those really tough kind of cool things. All right. They say loud and clear. He said good to go. All right. They can hear us. Excellent. Fantastic. So. And we're off. What's going on in your knife world there? Um, nothing much, really. I just like playing with this out the front a lot. Now, you don't have exceptionally strong hands. I mean, you have fairly strong hands. I have for fairly a while, strong but, hands. But it's not like my strong hands. No. So how is that for you? Is that something that It's a little carry? tougher than I like, like the other one. What was the that? The Guardian one? Tactical? Yeah. It's a little tougher than what I like, but it's nowhere near. The one near. we stole from Uncle Richard? Yes. It's nowhere near. The one we're squatting on? Where is it? I, I don't know. I, I had to give it, it to first. you. No. No, you didn't give it to me. Don't start that nonsense. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. That's your go-to answer. But everything. <laughs> I gave it to you and you never do. Um, I thought it was in your purse. Well, that's where I keep all my knives. No, that, then it's probably still there. Anyhow, this <laughs> one's a little subject. more difficult than the Guardian, but, but not as tactical. Not as hard as the Microtech that Chad likes. Yeah. yeah, he does like that. Hey, Doc. Hey, awesome. Eric's here. Fantastic. Hey, David, good to see you. Chad number three. I think Chad number three is going to be promoted to Chad number two. Because I don't think really? Chad number two shows up anymore. I don't know how you keep them all straight. Well, you know, I don't have much of an outside of a knife life, so this is all very important. It is very important. Cesar, Chad number three is going on a smoke break. Good to see you. So what do you think? Ninety-nine bucks for that thing. That's a good price. I don't the like guard the guard attack was like three hundred or the something. The clip like that. is pokey in my hands. It pokes is my it? fingers. Yes, because it like catches. See. Is it pokey like when you use it, or is it pokey when you just just don't play with it? It's pokey when I try to withdraw. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're probably pulling back too much. Well, I have to pull back a little bit because it's almost like hot stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I can see where it would be if you had to really brace into that thing. See, it's even left a red mark on me. Yeah, yeah. It, this, the sides are a little, little pokey. The sides are very pokey. But they're not pokey for use, though. Because if you're using it, it's not getting to you. But if you're up here goofing around up here where you shouldn't be anyways it might get to you or if you're opening it 50 times a day for 12 days straight that might that might jab you a little bit that might jab you there. so what do you think would you buy it 99 bucks yeah That's i punch. buy it for 99 bucks be careful with that that thing wants to punch shut i just like the dagla color of this one and the awesome lanyard this does not have a lanyard Place. No. Uh -huh. oh, there's a special place in hell for people putting lanyards on out the fronts. Well, Is that true? No. Oh, maybe okay. you would want to carry it like a little loop. Eric says you should have longer thumbs. <laughs> I have pretty <laughs> long thumbs. My hand, my fingers are really long. <laughs> you do have long fingers. Yeah. <laughs> and you have strong hands too. Does that deploy as nice and consistent at the... Yeah, it's better than the AKC F-16 MJ. 
it's more it's, uh, it's easier because of just where you got your hand so this is kind of an awkward thing for I mean, it's not super awkward where's Chadman when he's gonna make fun of me but from here it's just a better feel yeah I like the position of the button hey Reed good to see you because it helps with the leverage yeah so you like this one this is yeah. the new Demco you like that yeah the new Demco it has a nice like my excellent snappy sound. Like I do like the excellent lanyard that matches <clears throat> Demco knives. What's in this box? That's where this box, this one came oh, from. Oh, this is this one. Yeah. And then I was playing around with a bunch of the bag of old knives this week, and I found this one, and I forgot how awesome that knife is. This is a budget. Feel that thing. Now that's a rip off of a uh, oh, lion good. steel. Are you sure? It seems like a rip off of the. Demco. Why in the holy freak would you do that? I was just pointing to it. You weren't just pointing. The Little tap. <laughs> <laughs> a little tap with a knife is not going to hurt it's, him. That's what the loco thought. And then it got scratched by the other knife. The loco? Yeah, I scratched up one of my knives on camera. Oops. And now it's referred to as locoing up <laughs> a knife. Oh, okay. Well, no. This is very very comparable it has the same little button it feels the same in weight this one oh, might yeah, need to be a little beastly. lighter but this one feels the same if you told me to use it in my hand and tell me ask me which one was the Demco and which one was not Demco I'd say this one was the Demco just by weight just by weight but it has all the same features it has that little thumb stud it has a nice click to the lock and it has this butt. Well, that's a little bit stiffer than yeah. the Benchmades, but they're ripping off the Benchmades and the line still. But there's a difference in price. How much would you pay for this one, you think? Um, knowing it's a Ganzo? No, not knowing it's a Ganzo. Play the dumb game. Oh, not knowing it's a Ganzo, I would say 120 Okay, but knowing it's a Ganzo. Knowing it's a Ganzo, I'd say 75 no, no, it's like 28, 28. Really? Yeah. That's very reasonable. Yeah. But does it compare well with the steel? Well, see, that's where people are going to whine and cry. But, you know, 440C, like I say every, every all the time, my dad praised 440C my whole life as the great super steel. And then it's just within the last 20 years or so that 440C is kind of starting to get a bad rap. It's not, well, but for 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. Nobody's going to beat that knife up. Well, I mean, if you do beat it up, it's 20 bucks. Yeah, but most people aren't ever going to test what that steel can do. A pair of shoes cost more than this. Yeah. Yeah. A pair of flip-flops, you know. Yeah, those flip-flops I was looking at the other day. Mm -hmm. bucks. Buffering issues. We're having buffering issues. Oh, I'm sorry you had to reboot. I would reboot, but then I would never see any of you again, so... 440 seal is not acceptable for tactics. Oh. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't put this. But for 20 bucks? <laughs> he wouldn't put this in his kit, is what he's saying. This bug out with it. This SHTF kit. Maybe he's a knife snob. <laughs> 440 and OS8. Yeah, that's what this is. This is OS8. In fact, the F16, I think, is 440C on that. Or down 440. Yeah. Not all of us can afford this or especially this. Well, would you say especially this? Maybe hurt its feelings. This we is all know quality. that's high dollar. Quality. That's what? Uh, yeah. seven hundred. Shut your mouth. $750 <laughs> knife? Not this one. A $500 knife? No. Four hundred dollars. Right, they're like four to five hundred right now. See, I don't have four hundred dollars. You don't. To have on a something that I. Buying knives. No. <laughs> no, I don't have four hundred dollars. Hey Tom, good to see you. Okay, twenty-eight dollars. I don't have thirty. 
I don't have $400 to spend on a knife that I'm going to take outside and beat up. You know what? It's honestly not true. I have one just like this outside that I use it on my charcoal bags and cut meat and stuff outside. Yeah, and you don't feel bad about leaving it out. It's been out there. I'm leaving it out there and wait until I get to October so I can do a video on With what it looks pumpkin. like after a year outside. Oh, cool. It's not exactly in the elements, though. It's kind of underneath the porch. It's humid here. It's like Africa it humid. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, yeah. It's not really yeah. forced. No. It's like Humphrey Bogart going down a river, flirting with Catherine Hepburn humid. Chadman's here, and he wants to talk about how awesome this alpha front is. No, he doesn't. He does. <laughs> He'll be like, you know what? If I, since I am buying watches now. He is buying a lot of watches. And some he has watches. to go to something like this. Because he can't afford the Microtex and the watches. No, he's a big time barrister. He is. So he's got money for that. Esquire. Yeah, and plus they're making a movie about it. <gasps> really? Yeah. I'll watch it. It's going to be like a John Wick kind of thing. <gasps> October's been canceled. No. Even if we have to <laughs> throw the candy at the children, we can't cancel Halloween. Hey, Christine and Peter here. Hey, the Hartman's made it. Good to see you. Bladed ginger? No. When you get off the plane in Houston and you feel like you're breathing underwater, that's when you know you've hit real humidity. Yeah, Houston's something else. <clears throat> What's in this? What's in this case? Oh, that's... It has a cool bead on it. A yeah. pirate skull he's got a skull on his hat too another Dimco they're multiplying you sound surprised <laughs> like I'm doing stuff you don't know about <laughs> no I mean I just didn't know that you brought out some of your safe I was just queens. comparing them oh is this, this one's not a safe queen that one's not a safe queen no no it's no, gonna... I've been carrying this one no. That was a safe thing. That's the number one custom. Lots of Houstonians have gills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do. <laughs> watch is the last buy for a good one. That's an awesome watch, Chad. He has that kind of the same uh, Omega that Tony has. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, I think since Tony doesn't watch but this, I can say this. I, I like movie, Chad's I better. Yeah, Tony totally doesn't watch. But. If he's going to be in the movie, he's got to have an excellent... Yeah, like a James Bond thing. You can't be exactly. James Bond without an Omega. Right? Yeah. Right? I wonder if he has a fancy car to drive. He will. Oh, in the movie? Yeah. You need to put that in your contract. I bet you he knows a lawyer that can write a good movie contract I for bet. him. <laughs> somebody does contract law. I bet he knows somebody. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, what else we got going here? I gotta do another live stream on Friday. Luckily, something big is coming in tomorrow. What's coming? I in can't tomorrow? tell you why. Because. Well, but we're having there? a podcast tomorrow. You have to announce. I'm doing it Friday. Oh. Okay. But then, if I do it now, then nobody will show up Friday. Be, oh. <laughs> we already know. Oh, no, so much for that. Yeah. Yeah. Can see how you would want to build, you gotta build up the suspense, yeah. yeah. I can see that. Like somebody's gonna die. That's bad. in the house, yeah. But then they're gonna show up Friday, find out who I killed. No, I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but if that was the, the whole premise of my show, like who's Jimmy murdering this week? Jimmy murder. No, no, <laughs> it's like one of those mystery suppers. No. <laughs> I'm welcome for my shirts. Oh, nice. That's awesome. That is cool. That's awesome. You deserve it for sure. Lady Ginger wants advice. He works for Smoking Out. Yeah. I bet you they can give him some good advice. Yeah. Maybe he wants us to take a vote. Yeah. No, we're not killing the cats. <laughs> we're going to kill one of them. That's the mystery. Which one? I know which one you don't like. You don't like Emmy because she screams. 
the last to go. You see the rest of them go before her. <laughs> Good small fixed and blades. And Chad three is seeking advice. Small fixed blade Tanto. Yeah, John, that's right. See, so he took his games to the beach because he knew it wasn't going to be a problem. Okay. Small. Blade Ginger is selling a Spyroco. He wants to think about getting a pistol, a Medford, bench made. Or hinder. Ooh. It depends on which one, though. Yeah, which hinder are you talking about? Hey, Bill, I got a bunch of snaggle tooth. Thanks, though. Yeah, you're right, though. I have a bunch of them. Oh, I have yeah. A, like a distant cousin named Bill Bowling, I think. I Is like, that you? I like cats. Do you have a son named Jeff? Is it huh. Jeff? I have Bowling. no idea. It may be Bowling. I don't know. I thought it was Bowling. <laughs> what? <laughs> Neighbor's dog <laughs> with the axe and the back fence. <laughs> My professor Plum. That's awesome. He wins. He won. He won. <laughs> he won clue. Oh, the X18. That's a good question, Doc. A good he shouldn't get rid of all his guns. No, he's selling to get a gun. No. Oh, somebody else getting a gun? Who's selling the gun? Blade Ginger is selling a gun to buy a No, knife. he's selling a knife to buy a gun or a knife or a knife or a knife. Oh. Kill the oldest one first, that's fair. No. I don't think that's how it goes. Yeah, it's, it's in the Bible. Well, if it's good enough for the Bible. God was saying that. There's a few things in the Bible that we don't want to do nowadays. Well, maybe killing the oldest is not in one of them. It says the middle cow. <laughs> I could defend myself. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Why would you refer to me as the middle child? You are the middle child. Yeah, but you said it with such anger and like just snobbery and looking I'm down a, your nose I'm at I'm a firstborn. Yeah, but it was like I'm the guy doing your laundry or something like says, there's that guy. <laughs> I don't think we have a slow cat. They're all still pretty fast. Yeah, Frederick would be the one. I'll he's, get him all these. He's fat. He yeah. has a, I'll get him like they do in family act, like piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> I'll leave him into a trap that way. <clears throat> oh, a bad bug bite. Maybe you need antibiotics. This hurts my thumb after a while too. Yeah, that's why to break up into days on days. Okay, then that's no good. Yeah, the but cliff it, it, hurt, you, bites me, the edges bite me, and the flip your switch bites me. Yeah, but you're sitting there playing with it as a useful knife I'm talking about. Yeah, but I should be able to fiddle with it. It's not, yeah, it's not a complete pleasure to fidget. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of wives aren't good with the extra wife thing. Oh. You'd have to move to Utah. <laughs> yeah, sister wives. We should mute it and talk about this. No. <laughs> this is not a forum for sister wives. This is a forum about knives. Oh, and how well, maybe I should start a forum for sister wives. No. They probably have a forum already. What would we call it? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> I'm already thinking. You keep flicking, I'll keep thinking. All right, I'm not done. I'm done thinking. <sighs> it's his fault. He's the one who brought. I was talking about killing the oldest. Bad count. And he brought up sister wives. <laughs> yeah, these. This show has taken a very dark turn. It depends on your viewpoint. Kill the cat. 
kill the oldest child, sister wives. It's gone down. I would say that's like going uphill. No. Yeah. We are not tender thumbed. I just don't garden a lot. Small Tanto fixed blade. Um, is the what is is the ultimate hunter? The ultimate hunter is not Tanto, is it? How many? One of the best shooting guns I ever had was a Taurus. So, really? Yeah. Oh, for like when you were at the range? Yeah. Did you carry it when you were a cop? Did you carry it ever? <laughs> no, actually, I, I sold it to my brother. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, there's a... I know, Cesar. It went downhill. It took a spiral. We went off... <laughs> Off topic, really badly. Let's get it back to knives. What's there's, in this box? There's a uh, the neck knife that Cold Steel makes. They make a Tanto. That's really inexpensive. You gotta go from the side. Is it not open? Oh, it's not open. Oh wait, no wait, stop. Why? Cause I can't open it. No. Why is it for noobers? We're not doing noobers. Ah. <laughs> oh. Why not? I like Newbers. No. They like Newbers. It's a popular part of your show. <laughs> I know, but I don't want it to be the only part of my show. It's not the only part oh, of that's a good show. one, too. This is pretty. I like the blue hardware. <clears throat> the Cold Steel uh, Tamp Tanto. Break out of safety. She did earlier. I just got to wait till she puts all the other knives away to break Pokey it back out. <laughs> This is a safe queen. And it's the new dun dun shark lock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the eighty twenty shark lock. That's the number one Demco ever made. Number one? It's the first eighty twenty ever made. But can we prove it? Yeah, they wrote it. Can't see it. Very good, but it is right there. The spike, yeah, the spike. That's the one you want. I got a Swamp Rat Mega Swamp Warden for my birthday. That's a cool knife. He showed that on on Facebook. Yeah, I like that one. Hey, real quick, you guys. I'm starting to put, I know I said Friday, but for you guys that didn't show up Friday, I'm putting video or like a little deal at the end of my videos. For different knife channels it just says you know go check these folks out so if you have a knife channel you know if you just start a knife channel like today or recent don't look who the tim go see that's what it means <laughs> put the tim go away but uh send me an email some of y'all on here i've already I've already put on there, so it's not a huge deal, but maybe it'll help you out a little bit. I already played with this Demco, and you said it was a carry knife, so it should hold up just fine. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you can stab it. I didn't stab it, I tapped it. <laughs> you tapped my knife. Yes, the cold steel spike, yeah, what Todd says in, in Tanto. What's a Vanex? Vanex? I think the Vanex got a is a steel. Vanex custom today. Oh, you can't talk about that. Why? Oh, he did a bad thing. He's, we have to stab him now. Why? <laughs> I'll have to tell you about it later. Huh. can't tell you about it in public. It's not polite. Is it a good knife? It's awesome. Then why can't we talk about it? <laughs> Such a problem. We, I really don't know. I, do you remember the guy? 
I met at Blade Show and he signed my knife with his first name. Yes. Well, that's this is one of his customers, I think. Oh, cool. Yeah. I don't remember his name. I just remember it. Hey Steve, what up? Doing it. Yeah. Panic says strange drugs. But <laughs> you get three of them for a dollar. <laughs> Xanax bars. Yeah. They're not quite Xanax. <laughs> so they're <laughs> a little cheaper. <laughs> you can't really trust your dealer. That's right. You got some uh, Xanax. <laughs> it's Xanax you get from a van. <laughs> it's Xanax. <laughs> now, he might not like you making fun of his knife. I'm not making fun of it. His knife. The name is funny. The name. The name yeah, of the stuff. Who comes up with that? I think it's awesome. It sounds spacey or cool or something. But it also sounds like, you know, you're a getting illegal drugs. That guy says uh, drugs on the side of his white man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got an ice cream truck music maker. He just drives up and down the street. Dirk. That was his name. Dirk. Yeah. I have a Dirk non-script Xanax. Yeah. And it has that little pin that you can make the knife. Where's it at? I don't know. Oh, it's in one of these bags over here. We take forever to find it. That's not good. What? I can't have everything readily accessible. Pinkerton Artisan. Very cool. Yeah, he makes some really cool stuff. Oh, good, good. Chat number three. Yeah, it's a good knife. I have a couple of the the spikes, right? They're called spikes. I have the scimitar one, and I have, is it called the Tokyo? I think it's Tokyo. See, Krista thought it said Xanax. Yes. Yeah. And everybody... Went out to buy one because they thought it was going to make it feel good. Yeah. And the feeling didn't last that long. No. Uh -uh. Only about four hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a dork. Uh, Doc says we should get a knife fetching robot for the knife live streams. I think we should like reorganize your whole area here. You know what all this is right here? This is all PIF. This is all stuff I have to review. This is all boxes for what Sounds I got like to Sounds like you need out. to get busy. Yeah, I do. We you need some quiet time. I need you to help me with some PIF boxes tomorrow. Okay, we can do that. How many we do? I think we should do 20. 20? 20. 20 PIF boxes tomorrow. Yeah, enough money for 20. But you have enough stuff for 20. We might have enough stuff, but I don't know if we have enough shipping money. That's well, 160 bucks. Then we'd have to wait. Wait, we might. I might have enough with the Patreon and with my Smoky Mountain paycheck, which is dwindling because of COVID. Oh, that's terrible. <clears throat> yeah. All right. 20? You think we can do 20? We can do 20 like that. It's an assembly line thing. All right, folks, 20. You heard it from her. She's going to pack 20 boxes. Why can't I open this cootie? You can... It's a got a commie monkey on the front. <clears throat> yeah. It's an angry commie monkey knife. Yes. Design with keychain steel, and then it has um, some Chinese keychain steel. So it says keychain steel in parentheses. Wow, that may not be the knife I thought it was. All right, open it up. Oh, do I get to use the safe queen? No, what the so fuck? No, open it up? this knife. <laughs> it needs to be used. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't Watch feel this one. loved. It doesn't want to feel loved. Has it drawn any blood yet? It wants to feel special. It's about to. 
See how nice that was? <laughs> it feels so much better. It actually got to cut things for once in its life. <laughs> oh, we had these not We've had this knife before. Yeah, I bought, I, all, love these. I bought all the rest of them they had a year and a half ago. These are wonderful. Yeah. It's just like my little bench made, only cheaper. I know, and I tried to talk to Kubi. I was like, Kubi, you want to make some money? Make this. Remake this knife. And they, they wouldn't do it. Uh, that's dumb. Seriously, guys. What, if Kubi redid this, wouldn't y'all buy this knife? Just buy the hundreds and the fistfuls? Is that another $20 knife? I got these for like 9 bucks a piece. Really? Oh, 30 of them. I've given most of them away. You know, left. because I don't feel as bad. Keychain about... still is better than three ninety. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel as bad about beating up this little twenty dollar knife on like boxes and stuff. Well, yeah, but it's still four forty C. It's still the same that decent steel. It's not. But it, it feels the same as my bench. It's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a great knife. And my benchman is significantly more. Yeah. Costly. Your your benchman is way more expensive than that. Yeah. And so I kind of keep my <clears throat> sort of like my safe clean. Yeah, San Remu, somebody should make, somebody should clean up on that knife, especially now that access lock is open for everybody. Oh, yeah. I like this little knife. Yeah, that's what she carries is the little mini grip, David. But, yeah, you want one of those? I think I have one. I use, I get one of these out. The one that you had, whenever I'm doing a bunch of boxes to cut things, because I don't want to, like, especially like the tape for the PIF boxes, if it's not tearing good, I'll use, and so you don't feel bad about it getting gummy or yeah. dull with, it doesn't get dull, but it, it, you know, you wouldn't feel bad about continually cutting up boxes. Yeah, with your other one, you kind of feel like you got to wipe it down or every yeah. time. Or, yeah, yeah, I have to be more night. careful. Lock is just as bad as Benjamin. Me. Doc's not a, a fan of the access. Doc, lock. for those of us that aren't dexterous enough to do the flippy thing. Dave, it's a cool little knife. It's really a good knife. They they had a bunch left in Europe, and I kept talking to the guy. And I was like, hey, I want all those from Europe. And he finally sold them all to me. The handle, I think the handle's aluminum. So but I think it it's looks anodized bronze. aluminum. Yeah. It's, it's a hard to see. Really in cool life. knife. But I think if they made this in G10 with just a little, like a mini grip knockoff with that hollow grind blade, this thing's awesome. John Scarborough took it apart. Yeah. Yeah. Axis locks. That's a bad idea. They don't go back together well. Yeah. They're not friendly for going back together. Mm -hmm. Aluminium, 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 aluminium. Is that how the British say it? I don't know. Hmm. That sounds kind of like a Mandalorian thing. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> I like it. But what are we gonna do for Newbers? This. <gasps> We get to give away this from New Jersey. No, we're going to give away that for New York. But why not? <laughs> it's a problem. I know you just got this from Europe. I didn't get it. It's traveled all it's, over the world. I've had it in a box it's over here. It's traveled from China to Europe, <laughs> now to the United States. It is coronavirus free. That's as far as we know. Well, sure. <coughs> See? Ah. <laughs> Okay, it's it's probably coronavirus free since it's come through all the coronavirus countries. Chat says keep this on schedule. <laughs> <laughs> People who say that. They're oot. Yes, they are. <laughs> He's oot. <clears throat> Amazing Nuber. Bladed gingers on my side. Mm. Us gingers gotta stick together. Yeah. They're both bladed gingers at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a good little Newberg gift. And we haven't done There's Newbers. not very many left. That makes it more valuable. Yep. So you may have only paid $10 for it, plus $100 in shipping from the other side of the world. 
but it's worth so much more because it comes from you and it took a long trip to get here and there's not that many all right we'll do numbers with it Keep. awesome <laughs> i guess we have to wait a little bit though yeah new it's not new time yet when's new time i don't know the clock on the wall needs a new battery so i can't tell what time it is it gives me hope some days and some days it makes me afraid <laughs> like, oh look it's only five o'clock and then like, oh it's already five o'clock so well, are you excited about piffmas i'm not quite ready for christmas no. not christmas piffmas piffmas starts like in a, two weeks what yeah getting Ugh. the list together oh, you know what i do this year they're going to email me everything and i'm going to forward all the emails to you so that you can make a spreadsheet that'll make you happy you like spreadsheets. I do like spreadsheets. Organization, I love. And that way you can just plug your spreadsheet right into the post office. Mm -hmm. We don't have to type it all in. You can just, they'll let you upload certain spreadsheet data. Excel. Excel, yeah. What do you think about that? Would that work? Okay. That would help out tremendously, seriously. Yes, I can do that. Would you do that? Yes, I would. That will work out awesome. Do you need my email address? No, I know your email address. Do you need me to give it out? No, no, not here. No. Oh, you I thought you were going to. know your email address. <laughs> <laughs> we could start you your own email for Noobers, but then they would still be sending you weird stuff. David says I'm a Noobers ambassador. You are a Noobers ambassador. <laughs> Seriously, though, you haven't done Nubers for a month at least. No. It's been, been at least a month. Has it? No. It's been like two weeks. When was the last time you did a show? I, I haven't done a show in a month. Dang, I guess it's going by fast. Yeah. You go hop in the bowl bath and let Cali go and take me away. <laughs> oh, you still have a couple days left this week, Chad. Don't waste your Cal gone yet. They make you easy to get to. They make it easier to get to the box thing and deliver it, yeah. Uh, they'll deliver them, just maybe not on time. No, like yeah. our mail lady won't hardly take the boxes. I have to go to the mailbox. Cause she, she's COVID afraid. She's not COVID afraid. She keeps claiming she doesn't have any room in her truck. Yeah, and she's COVID afraid. She wouldn't let just the, the youngest give her a package there to get to like, sit on top of the mailbox. I don't think she understands really how COVID is transmitted. I don't think most people understand how COVID is transmitted. Right now, they say drop up precautions. So that's why we're wearing this. I still get lots of praise from my mask, but ear protector. Cool. The docs from uh, his uh, leather works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. That was awesome. Alright, All right, so we got Pithmas coming up. We think we gotta shoot for a certain number or just cut it off at a certain number. Nah, that seems grinchy. Yeah, but the shipping is gonna kill us. Why did they halt North Carolina mail? Probably for the hurricane. Oh yeah. Well, but that's down on the coast. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe they didn't land a little bit. I don't know. In the there mountains, you'll get flooding. lots of rain. Yeah, I saw lots of flooding. Yeah. It's hot. Crazy. Oh, yeah. See, I wasn't even paying attention to your sticker. <clears throat> They'll resume the mail again soon. Christmas is their big time of the year. Yeah. I want to head out on a trip if you can get time off just take a week and like drive as far out as you can and see people what do you think about that <laughs> like having a gym slash get together yeah we could do it out in Tennessee and Smoky Mountain or something like that you need something that shows like where the most of them are concentrated in the United oh, States like little like Jimmy slash man. yeah because there will be like a pin from overseas you have some people in Australia 
and then you have you can't go to Australia. The Journey. It used to have a guy from Georgia, not Georgia in the United States, but Georgia the country. Yeah. And I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. So you should put a like a little map that shows where all the little pins are at. <laughs> Spicy beef jerky. You haven't made beef jerky in a little for a couple days. Yeah, I just got some more meat in. I could make some more. I found a new recipe. Did you try the new recipe? Or was no. it all gone? I sent it out to a couple of people. Yeah, I, I didn't get any of the new recipe. Oh. All right, we're going to think about that. Okay, what else? I can't do what you got. Okay, I'm going to do what do you got? What did you guys get this week? Hey, Hawaii, good to see you. What did y'all get this week that came in? I can't think of anything that I got that y'all haven't seen yet. Oh, yeah, the Facebook group. You can check through the Facebook group, and it kind of gives you an idea where everybody's from. Oh, it's like cool. a statistical thing on there. <clears throat> Hawaii Knife and Gear. Cool. I haven't met a Smoky Mountain. I'm going to get there from... Hey, Pete, good to see you. Yeah, sorry, Hollywood. Just got this guy kind of came up. She has today off. She doesn't have Friday off, or we do it Friday. Oh, I can't set prototype. That's cool. I keep wanting to get one of those, and I keep I want the one with the thumb stud. Was that the Warrior or something cool like that? I like that can set with the thumb studs. We're buying new artisans like crazy. Cool. Bushcraft Black. Huh? Real Steel Echo. Oh. I love real steel. And I love monsters. I'll check it out. I saw your wood wallet, Cesar. That was really cool. Bacote or Bacati? How do you say that? Wood wallet? Yeah, it's like a wood wallet. You know, like you, you've seen those like plastic wallets? It's just like wood. Cool. It's pretty neat. <clears throat> Buck Inferno, cool. I got a couple can set prototypes tool. Awesome. My wife ordered a fountain for the cash drink out of. We need a fountain. Awesome. She's a good woman. <laughs> Scored a crew wear purple PM2. Oh, nice. You got in on that nonsense. That's awesome. Is it a purple knife? Yeah. But it's, a, it's one of those sprint runs and everybody just runs over to the website and it just goes out like Black Friday. Dang. One auction on eBay for a twenty-five. I don't know what that is. I actually found out my birthday present. I'm getting in a couple weeks. <laughs> you stopped act surprised, Pete. That's right. TRM Neutron. That's a nice one, G man. Spider man. All these people are having great knife weeks. Hey, MJ. Thanks for being here. Good night. This was going to be yours, MJ. Now i got to go into the vault. That's why I didn't want to open it. That's her fault. Parts. Boat parts. That's not exciting, Tim. No, I don't know. <laughs> it is. If, if you like boats. I like boats. I just don't know anything about boat parts. I remember, though, seriously, back in the mid-90s, I had a buddy who was trying to get into fixing engines, like boat engines. And there was, like, one school in the whole country. It was out in Florida. You had to go to that school. I'm sure it's different now. But. M Tech. I like some of the M Techs. M Tech's awesome. Got a nice customized artisans now posted up in the morning. Cool. A stack of awesome. Pete's about to brag. He's always bragging all the time. He's like, look what I want. I put $2 in and I got this $2,000 knife in a raffle. Dude wins more raffles than anybody. He won a lot at Blade Show. Yeah, I know. Him and Christine. I know. We should get to there over there and rub his head. <laughs> no, that's rude. You, I don't Rick, think that's allowed. Drive over there, rub his head, and go to Vegas <laughs> without washing our hands. Ew, gross. But it's not gross if you're winning. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Coning areas. Ours and Tacit. Tepping is not to tank. 
Look at that. Holy freak. Oh, ordered the mini freak. I want to get the mini freak. That's nice. It's carbon fiber. You love that carbon Super fiber. Super steel. What's the steel? Is it S90V on that thing? <clears throat> but it's expensive. Doc wouldn't let me get it. Why? Because he wants me to save up my for money what? for something awesome. He just got the Demco. Yeah, he wants me to get something awesome. What's more awesome than Demco? <clears> Try <throat> you catch the China call. <laughs> what? Rubbing people's heads and not washing your hands. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You're crazy, man. There you go, yeah. Got a way to make money for a new knife? That's all he has to do. We've been playing. Stick his head out the doggy door. People don't even have to see him. He is, you know, don't have to put his shoes on or nothing. It'd be like when you find the face of Jesus on toast and then you charge people to come see it. That'd be Pete's head. No. Yeah. You get somebody to make a relic out of it, and then it's even more money. <clears throat> Beastie Bunny, this is a extreme AKC. Yeah, Beastie. That's the one I just did the the video on that I flipped 600 times or more. It's awesome. So awesome. Okay, is it Newber's time? Is it Newber's time? I don't know. What time is it? It's not time for Newber's. You can't just do Newber's. You have to end on Newber's. Oh. It's like the end of Price is Right like when the, they win the game, the showcase showdown. It's like the the finale of the fireworks show? No, it's more like the Price is Right. There's no oh. prizes at the end of the fireworks show. That's true, but there's lots of good explosions. There's no explosions here. You're going to stab somebody with that thing. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. This is a cute little QB. I do like it. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, I think that's it. We can do new a little early, what do you think? Okay. All right. Let me check in. All right. Go to Rand. Tell them the, the instructions on Nubers. Okay. The instructions on Nubers, since I am the official spokesperson for it. They always put the hot girls out there in front as the spokespeople. That's why you're there. Oh, cool. You're modeling the goods. <laughs> so you have to pick a number between 1 and what? 50. 1 and 50. But you can't start until we say, we type, go. And then one number at a time? One number at a time that you type in and hit enter. You can't type like... <clears throat> 10, 40, 13 in one line. We're in Terry. Hold on. We're in Terry. That's the guy from Sweden. He's the one who used Josh's song in his video. Oh, cool. Yeah, I want to show him my knife. Okay, show him the big yellow. <clears throat> this is the Demco AD20, MG8020. Or We're Big Bird, Terry. as we often call it. We never called it Big Bird until this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. We don't have to call it. It will be ever, forever known as Big Bird now. <laughs> you messed up my nightmare. Couldn't call it something cool. It is cool. Oh, man. All right. So, we, you guys got newer instructions. 1 to 50, guess one number at a time. As many numbers as you want, but it's got to be one at a time. And then me and Eric will try and figure out who go, who gets the right one. This is the rule, though. Me and Eric's law is law. Even if yours, because sometimes on your screen, your number will come up first. It's, it's Big Bird now. 
Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's what comes up on our screen that's going to count. So. <clears throat> and Doc is the yeah, final he's call. Yeah, the final call. He's the judge. So once you see start, go to town. Does he have the number? Yeah. Okay. He's Austrian. Austrian. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you in the wrong country. You have a really cool accent and you live in a beautiful place. Wait, we got it. Elgato. Elgato. I got Elgato. 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 Doesn't that mean cat? Yeah. Right? I don't know what the number is. 40. Oh, yes. Yes, he did 40. Elgato. Elgato wins. 40 Elgato. Congratulations, Elgato. He's way up high. You're going to enjoy this cootie. And you won't feel guilty about it. You can even put it in somebody's stocking. And you oh, have no. to tell them, though, that it's gone all over the world. All over the world. It has been all over. All right, Elgato, send me your mailing address to Jimmy Slash YouTube at Yahoo.com. Jimmy Slash YouTube at Yahoo.com. And then that knife she's holding there will be on its way pretty quick here. Congratulations. Maybe go out with the pith boxes tomorrow. Oh, we're sending out boxes tomorrow? I thought we were just boxing. We got to send them out so that we can. Get rid of that list to start the Pithmas list. Oh, yes. We don't have to do it tomorrow. No, we need to finish out that list. <clears throat> we kind of missed Christmas in July. How do we miss Christmas? We just did the 60 days in a row giveaway. Oh, that's right. I the, forgot about that. In April and May. That's a lot. Yeah. We just haven't done any Piths since then. but. It is an Axis Lock. Yeah, it's an Axis Lock. That was not authorized to be an access lock. I like this one. But now it could be authorized. Yeah, now it just doesn't matter what they think. Benchmade doesn't hold that patent anymore. All right, I think that's it. Anybody else got any closing business? Old business, new business? We'll cut off a little bit early here. We still got another live stream on Friday. I'll have to figure out something to talk about Friday. You're not going to be here. Nope. Bummer. Are you off Saturday? I am. Oh, then you can do it. But I won't get home until like 9 o'clock. That's when it starts. Oh. Then I'll the get your chair all ready for you. And the fluffy blanket. And the fluffy blanket. blanket. How come that's hard to say? Fluffy blanket. <laughs> all right. So maybe she'll be back, depending on how she does her work. And we can get her drinking under control. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate y'all being here. Thank I you haven't for being had here. any for a long time. Yeah, it's been a couple of days. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> oh, we can talk about you if you're not here. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Anyways, thanks y'all for being here. I'll see you on Friday. And I appreciate y'all being in the middle of the week. I, if I'd have known she was going to be here on Friday, I might not have done tonight. We might, but it worked out. We'll have to pull out a new, another Nuber knife. Yes. Y'all take it easy. Have a good evening. If you need to get in touch with me, Jimmy slash YouTube at Yahoo.com. Hit me up on Facebook, and I will talk to y'all later. Say good night.